Welcome back. Today is Thursday. That means acting analysis for animators. And today I'm going to take a look at the last episodes I want to talk about for Killing Eve season one. As always, link in the description for the playlist of the previous episodes talking about Killing Eve. And why waste time? Let's go straight into the shots. First up is this fantastic moment here where he puts whatever the British equivalent of ketchup, I guess, is on the fries. And there are two things I want to talk about. A is, I like the setup where you have a character doing whatever, and it could be something normal, or the way he squeezes this, or maybe puts way too much on there, maybe it fills it up. You can have any type of character in any type of setup, and this is why I like it. This is totally up to you and your creativity. The cool thing is that while this happens, you have these two looking. She is looking at what is he doing, and she's looking at his face. I love that too, that you can technically have two maybe one, maybe two, maybe three characters, but they all react differently. Now they're both looking here and maybe this character could smile, maybe this character could just start crying, like whatever you want to do, but it gives you the opportunity to do all kinds of pantomime acting and reacting to whatever this character does. And I think the craziness of this would be a good lead in into that. So basically you're watching something that's absolutely ridiculous. Maybe this character builds a tower of fries before he decides to eat them and you're looking at this and going, what is going on? And the moment you think this, we cut to them having the same reaction. So you as a viewer are also connecting to those characters. So lots of opportunities that could be really fun. You could even have something of them reacting, going, what is going on? And then maybe a background character starts kind of getting up higher in the chair, looking at like, what is going on? And, and maybe a character leans into frame and more. I mean, you can escalate this to no end. But I thought this was part one of this that I really liked. And part two is this. Get ready for when he eats the fries, because they're hot and tut, 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 tut. <laughs> it's so good. And then he starts talking and it's the scene and blah, blah, blah. But I love this. Look at that face. I love how he just immediately goes away as if, as if this helps. Imagine this is a fire, it's really hot and he has to get away from the fire, but it's stupid because the fire is in his mouth. I love this. I love how he goes back, inhales. Also, I have done this way too many times. I know it's hot and I'm still eating it and I have exactly the same reaction. So again, it's something that a character on screen is doing that you can connect with, that's something you can go like, oh yeah, I know exactly how that feels. Same with this reaction like oh I feel exactly the same way this is ridiculous so if you have things like this in your shot maybe think about how it could be an action that the audience is familiar with and so they can have a better connection and let's watch this again just because it's so awesome da, 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 da. so good second sequence is this here where the character comes in and he goes Psh, and of course the other character keeps on talking and what I want to talk about is the setup is where she is saying something to someone that is off screen. So you could choose an audio piece, not sure why I'm writing this down, where it's technically a two character audio piece, but we never see the second character. And it's just there for this character to talk about something, but it's a setup for the third character that's here. And it's all about this character is doing something and is hoping that this character is not exposing a character doing something it's mostly about this and this character it's also a nice setup that she is looking screen left to right and she's here looking screen right to left so we know there's a connection there but again you see things where where she goes come on talk and then she says blah 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 and it continues on and it's just that setup that i like that you have this where yes you do lip sync there's lip sync with this and this could be your exercise it's a nice profile shot second character you don't have to animate that's great <laughs> less to do but it's more about a lip sync here that you can practice and work on and pantomime with this character doing things and interacting with this character and you can escalate this to things where it's not just in the face but she hopes that she goes no don't do that but then she does it anyway and because of that there's a specific reaction uh oh with this character oh and this character doing the same thing so you can escalate this into hand gestures and signals and all kinds of things where it's not just in the face but i like that setup i like that it's more about them two with an extra character there for the setup of the scene that she's trying to help this character not be noticed by this off-screen character now continuing this sequence the character has entered the scene and she is now there. And this for me is a cool setup in terms of you have 
this character talking to, as you know, you've just seen it, to her. But what I like about this is this, and I've talked about this before, where sometimes lip sync is cool, where you have two adults talking and there's a child listening to it. And this could be two kids talking and an adult is, I mean, your setup could be whatever it is, right? But I like the idea of potentially not even focusing on the lip sync and it's mainly on her. I mean, your setup could be where actually this is the child looking and I've done this before in previous setups, so it's nothing new, but I just wanted to show that example again where maybe your adults are here and that's their waistline and maybe arms and maybe they're gesturing here. So their faces are off screen, the faces are out there. You don't have to animate them, but you still have lip sync and they still perform body wise with that, with the audio, but it's all about this character watching back and forth and reacting. This could be something funny, something sad, something angry. Or I mean, it could be also something like this, where you have this and every now and then she comments, she says something, and then she has a reaction to her, and then she has a reaction to her. I mean, again, this could be a setup like this, where you have multiple characters, three characters, and they're all on screen facially. You have to animate all of this, but this is also an interesting setup. But again, you could do something where it is just character here and two characters here and they could be on screen or off screen in terms of their faces and just a character or a creature or again adult kid whatever reacting to those two elements and that concludes season one of killing eve i'm actually watching season two right now and again there's so much great material there season three is not available yet at least for me to watch and i think they just announced season four so a lot of great material in the future speaking of future and time i guess if you watch this whole thing till the very end of course i appreciate it thank you for sticking until the very end if you like this i would appreciate a like now and if you like this type of analysis and you think that this could help with my shot and i want to work with you with me you can sign up for my workshop i have a workshop you can sign up at any time link in the description with all the information but if you do want to work on your shots and you want me to help you in some way based on all of these acting analysis and fnas you can sign up at any time of course let's work together and that's it from me i will see you in my next upload